Yo. What's good, man? It's your really Stewie. Day next flies guy on the radio, man. Trapping out the trap house. You know what I'm saying? First episode. You know what I mean? It's going down. My boy Mike Will made it. First yes, of all, sir. congratulations. My I brother. Congratulations. Let's say one more time. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations on the uh, <laughs> new situation in Atlantic. No, I appreciate that, bro. So how you talk, feeling, man. Man? So, so what, what made you actually like, you know, I got to be in your, know, your business, man. You know, we ain't talk. What made you, you know what I'm saying, disperse from the, you know what I'm saying, the Interscope situation? Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing. It was just, um, exploring, exploring the options. Like I had fulfilled my deal at Interscope and, um, we put out Ransom, Ransom, Ransom 2. And then we put out, um, the Creed album, you know what I'm saying? Then we, 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 we delivered, you know what I'm saying? For, um, Shrim, we delivered with Shrim, you know what I'm saying? The song and all the hits that they put up. And then we delivered with Dot, you know what I'm saying? With Humble and DNA and, and different stuff like that. So it was like, Man, I feel like we, we covered a lot of ground at Interscope, but um, when I had signed the Interscope, I had signed to Jimmy Iovine, and like right when I signed, like Jimmy Iovine had had went to um, he had so he had so beats music to Apple, you know what I'm saying? So like now that my deal is up and I'm open, I, I haven't signed like my label anywhere, you know what I'm saying? I haven't signed ear drummers anywhere, but I have um, I just did like this one one album situation with Atlantic because. I was just trying to weigh it out because Craig Common re reminded me, like nobody's the same, but you know what I'm saying. Craig Common is like another um, creative, uh, creative executive. You know what I'm saying, and and like he runs Atlantic, and we we're already working on different things, different projects at Atlantic or whatnot. And then um, he he had just he was listening to the songs that I was working on for the album. He was like, "Yo, why you don't, why you don't just do the album?" with Atlantic, like, like we could do that album. And I was like, well, shit, I was gonna do it independently to be real. And he was like, well, shit, man, we could set it up independently. You know what I'm saying? Like set it up to where it's like a distribution thing, but I just want to be in with you. I want to help, you know what I'm saying? Help build what you, what it is that you're trying to build. Cause I, I fuck with your vision. And Craig always been fucking with me since like the beginning, the beginning of, of time of me moving around to different record labels and, you know what I'm saying, shopping beats and shopping songs. So Craig always supported me or whatnot. So I guess timing, it was just, it was just right. Just try it out and then see if that's next. Definitely gotta say hard work pays off cause you be definitely putting a lot of work, man. So um, what's next for, for ear drummers, bro? Like you always been innovative, you know what I'm saying? Like ever since like we've been knowing each other for years. So the hard work, I have to, I have to salute you for the hard work you put in prior to being Mike Will Made It, the official Mike Will Made It nationwide, you know what I'm saying, household name. You didn't put in that work, put in that groundwork, no, ran sure. up on catch plenty of times, play this, play that, I'm Mike sure. Will, I'm Mike Will, I'm Mike Will. Like, <laughs> what's next for you, you know what I mean? Because now you, now you finally got it, you're here, you know what I'm saying, you're doing your thing. Like what motivates you and what's next for you? Um, I feel like what's next is Eardrummer Global. Um, I've been working, I've been working on um, di just different projects, like just different things that like, that I can connect with like, creatively or whatnot and um like one of the projects is like um i've been working on a latin project with rosani Arias, which is my girl and she she's hard as fuck like you know what i'm saying she did it she did a song on the gorillas album um and then i'm working on i did a project with junior reed i was working on a project with junior reed then i was working on a project new ray streamer album then sway lee is all we always working um and then like, yo, I had lost my hard drives in 2018. So it was really like just running back up the hard drives and just getting these songs, you know what I'm saying, stacked up. And um, and then like, you know, my album. And I and then it's it's like a certain, it's like it'd be like certain like creative projects that I that I might be working on. I don't know when it's gonna come out, or I don't know if that's what's next or what's you know what I'm saying, or or if or if or if it's not gonna be next. I don't like to speak on certain things too e too early and shit you know what i'm saying like with 2020 it kind of threw threw off a lot of a lot of different plans or whatnot but um we still been dropping music you know what i'm saying got the dollars in my head going up and a part of me you know what i'm saying now this joint you know what i'm saying and uh the ghost stupid to start off the year but um yeah man just staying creative man with, with ear drummers is just all about you know what i'm saying just you know what i'm saying continue to build building the empire of creatives and, and and continue to um, inspire and push my team. Like, you know, 30 Rockets on fire right now. My boy Plus is killing shit. Um, you know what I'm saying, as far as the producers go. Like, you know what I'm saying, my boy P. Nass and my boy Mars, they still killing shit. So it's just like, man, just staying creative, man. 
as creative as possible. Like we tapping into the movies, you know what I'm saying? Um, we tapping in on the movie side. Like I bought a couple of scripts, you know what I'm saying? And then just to really start shooting them shits in Atlanta, right? And right. and just staying creative as possible, bro. Well, really. I definitely, I definitely got to salute to you that you know what I'm saying. And, um, what a lot of people don't know is like it, it's it's different, bro. You 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 actually gave a lot of up and coming producers a lot of opportunities. You know what I'm saying to get in a lot of big projects. So I definitely got to salute to you that as a man because you know a lot of black men we struggle with that. We struggle with helping somebody else and putting somebody else on and putting people in position. And you've done that, so yeah. I definitely got to salute you on that. Now tell me this, bro, man. Because I, up, I remember bro? losing my hard drive when I was doing the music, man. Did you cry, man? Because I would have cried, man. Man, Did you, I ain't gonna lie. Come down your Tell me the truth, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I was damn near there, bro. I was damn. I was damn near. I was damn near there. I was. I didn't cry, but I was like the closest thing to crying. Like, you know what I'm saying? I sat in the parking lot by myself for like three, four hours. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. salute to y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Salute to y'all for one for y'all. I remember losing them shit. Y'all played Black Beatles. Y'all played um, Humble, and y'all played Rake It Up, back to back, bang, bang, bang. And you know what I'm saying? While I'm sitting in this parking lot, and I'm like, man, really, I got a lot to be thankful for. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, I had to look at it like, man, shit, Dr. Dre lost his hard drives, you know what I'm saying, to paperwork. Like, at least yeah. I didn't lose my shit to paperwork. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it's fucked up that I lost it, but you know what I'm saying? Like, as far as like, you know what I'm saying? Like, paperwork, like, you know what I'm saying? We're not, we're not in no fucked up situations. And then it's like, man, you just got to bounce back. So you say you bought a couple buildings in Atlanta? Yeah, bought a couple of buildings in Atlanta, and then working on building this studio, and it just opened my mind, opened my mind up, cause I would be that person that would be going, you know what I'm saying, putting overtime in the studio or whatnot, just going to the studio and just feeling like I gotta be there, you know what I'm saying, to the sun come up, and you know what I'm saying, just only doing music, and then it's like to like for those jobs to just be gone like that, it really just, you know what I'm saying, like really just opened my eyes, like man, you gotta diversify, you know what I'm saying, like so. It's like certain little restaurant ideas that I might have. Then it's like, you know what I'm saying? Then it might be like, okay, on the movie side, I might just invest and just be a producer. Like, oh, I like this idea. I put up the money to get this to get this movie done. You know what I'm saying? And just diversifying where it's just like, not only about just making a beat and like getting this beat to an artist and then the artist liking it and putting it out as a single or either let me use it for my project. You know what I'm saying? And then if the hard drives get, lost or stolen, then I'm dead. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. stepping out of that box. Right, so so tell me this, Wayne, what new artists are you looking at right now? Like, who you liking in the industry? Any new cats that you like? Anybody we need to look out for? I know you always keep your ear to the streets. Man, it's crazy, man, because a, 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 a lot of the newer cats that I fought with, they probably haven't been heard of, you know what I'm saying? Like, they haven't really been heard of. I, like, cause you know, I come across everywhere I go. It's like everybody's like, "Man, bro, check out this new artist. Check out this new artist." So, I was gonna do. I'm working on this album with Atlantic, but I was also gonna do a mixtape with just all new artists that I just genuinely fuck with. Like, they might not have no following. You know what I'm saying? They might not even have a song out, but it's just like I just fuck with them. But um, so is this gonna be like a Mike Will DJ tape or a Mike Will? Let me come in here and produce some for you tape. Like, what's what's gonna be that? No, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna produce it for him and then probably have like somebody host it, like have like an LDJ host that shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then, and then like, but I'm gonna produce the song for him and 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 just and just do some hard shit for the streets, like on some mixtape shit. You know what I'm saying? But um, as far as new artists, I mean artists that I haven't worked with that are newer. I fuck with little baby, like you know what I'm saying? Like I like okay. how he coming from the soul. Like I like I like any artist that's like really coming from the soul, like and like telling their truths and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like um, I like I like the energy ride wave coming with. I like um, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. You know niggas been doing this shit for a minute, Jay Nick. So right. it's like new, <laughs> new, new, yeah, new, new to us, new to us. It's like you know what I'm saying? Anybody who came out in the last couple years or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? But it's like. <laughs> It's so many different artists, man. So many different hard, hard songs. Like as long as, as long as you're not sounding like the another artist. As long as I can't pull up another artist and and, and, and quote your bars from another song, you know what I'm saying? And then you're coming from the soul. You telling the truth. That's the kind of artist that I like fucking with. No matter what genre it is, no matter if it's a street artist, 
uh, you know what I'm saying, a singing artist or whatever, I'm, I'm always trying to find like the, the freshest and the newest shit, like just different shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. for real, not trying to really fit in. Then tell me this, being being in Atlanta, being in the industry, you know what I'm saying, being part of the part of the sound of the South period, yeah. how important is this versus battle between Jeezy and Gucci to you? I mean, just not even just besides that, just coming up with Gucci from the mixtape scene and just knowing like it was always that diversion. But then it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like when I did work with Jeezy, I had to let it be known first that I worked with him. Like I, w- I was only comfortable with letting it be known the first day I worked with him. Like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, this man Gucci, this man Gucci is my is my big homie. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he the one who introduced me to the game, bro. Like I know y'all got issues. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to goddamn get into the middle of that shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit is before me and beyond me. But I'm just letting you know, like, me and Gucci work, you know what I'm saying? And, and not, like, that was like a weird conversation for me at the time because I'm new and coming in. But I had ran into Jeezy at Magic and his manager was like, yo, he wants some of them beats. So first day I pulled over there, I felt like I had to let him know. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, all that, it, it kind of like divided. Like everything that they had going on kind of like divided the city, you know what I'm saying? And it's like to see them do this versus battle, you know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's interesting, you know what I'm saying? It's really mm-hmm. interesting. It's like like it's interesting. I, I can't wait to see it, you know what I'm saying? And see 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 how it's gonna go. Like it's dope that they both playing their catalogs. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, like hopefully they can, you know what I'm saying? They can show uh Hopefully they can show like the ones after them and the ones that look up to them, you know what I'm saying? Something bigger, you know what I'm saying? Like some kind of, some kind of we like- We black, let's get this money, let's get the negativity yeah. behind us. You know, exactly. so we black, let's get this money, King. You know what I'm saying? No violence in this. Let's get, let's do these songs together, run this bank exactly. account up, run this money up. So tell me exactly. this, man. New album out right now, you know what I'm saying? Your, your, your joint coming real, real soon. You got a new single out, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Nicki Minaj, Young Boy. You know what I'm saying? Tell me about yep. that record. Man. This shit called What That Speed About. People fucking with it. We just dropped the video. Man, I can't complain, bro. That shit just premiered at number 35, Hot 100, mm. you know what I'm saying? And we haven't, we, we haven't even had, appreciate that. We haven't even had any um, radio play on it yet. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, like Nikki showed up, you know what I'm saying? She showed up at the video, pregnant during the pandemic. Like, young boy, you know what I'm saying? Showed up on time to the video. I was there the whole day, man. I ain't got. I really ain't got no complaints about that song, man. But it's it's, it's the that's song good that's right there. You got you got word. two major artists on time and Young Boy on time and Nicki exactly. pregnant on time. Oh, I got uh, to go through that in during the pandemic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so <laughs> like, man, at, at that point it was just like, man, like like shit, like man, whatever the song comes out and does, like you know what I'm saying, it's dope. I was just hoping that you know what I'm saying because Young Boy fans are used to hearing like a certain kind of vibe from him. And I know that this was like a different vibe for him. So it was just, it was just dope to like get him out of his element and then like bring them two together and it's and it's and it's unexpected. I I love doing those unexpected collaborations and um and and they work, you know what I'm saying? And I don't, I don't know, it just felt like this energy just felt like 23 damn near, you know what I'm saying? It's not the same type of song, but it just is like new, fresh and forward to me, you know what I'm saying? And I and um so shit, we're gonna push this one as far as it goes and then go with, come with the next joint and then um drop the album, my album called Michael. I'm gonna Michael. just have 10, just 10 solid joints on there. You know what I'm saying? Just 10 solid joints, bro. You know what I'm saying? And just keep it's, it simple. There's a lot of big Michaels out there, brother. There's a lot of big Michaels out there. <laughs> no, for sure. I, I feel like it means something to be a Michael. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how everybody call themselves like a goat, or like it call they they call themselves like the goat or like whatever, you know what I'm saying, a legend or whatever, like, I just want to be called a Michael, you know what I'm saying, I am a Michael, you know what I'm saying, and then, you know what I'm saying, like, lining up with the greats, greats of Michaels, you know what I'm saying, like, Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, Mike Tyson, Michael Johnson, Michael Phelps, like, you know what I'm saying, like, it's, it's too many Michaels, you know what I'm saying, so, I'm just trying to fill in those shoes, you feel me? Well, you got it, King Man. Salute to you. I appreciate you, Uh, you know what I'm saying, stopping stopping your busy day to talk to me, you know what I'm saying, rapping, Man. giving these folks some game. I salute you everything nah, you got going you know, on. I'm doing that, you know, I'm doing that every time for Jay Nix, man. Jay Nix been rocking me from, from, from goddamn day zero. You know what I'm saying? Man, you dig that. And, and, and we need to hear some of that new shit, bro. Where that new shit at, bro? Okay, I got something I'm working up my sleeve, and I, I bring some, I bring some youngins back. You know, I be, I keep my head to the streets. 
Say less. Say less. For sure. For sure. Man, definitely still together, keep it, Mike. Mike, Mike Will, ladies and gentlemen, man. New album coming soon called Michael. Trap another trap. Out. You know what? How he rocking, man. Big Stewie in here, man. Yeah. yeah. It's going down. Hot 179. It did. Fresher than you.